what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking use properties of the impulse function to simplify the following expressions here we have the first expression that is an integral going from negative infinity to infinity and here you can see here we have a signal multiplied by an impulse so when we have a signal multiplied by an impulse the integral is going to be signal evaluated at the location of the impulse now to find the location of the impulse you you just have to equate this t mi minus one it's like you have to equate that one to zero from that one you will get t is equal to one t is equal to one so this is going to be the location of the impulse so we can replace this t right here with this one so this is going to be ne negative infinity to infinity sine 3.25 times one instead of t i place this one and then impulse t minus one dt the final results will be just this part alone right we just neglect the all the others will be gone away so this is the only part that's going to remain and that's how we do the simplification for these kind of things like when we have a signal multiplied by an impulse and the, also we have to make sure the impulse range should be within the range of integration the range of integration here is negative infinity to infinity we have the one in between so we can do this now let's look at this one right here this also going from negative infinity to infinity here t is the impulse is located at negative 5 because if you equate this one to 0 you will get negative 5 so we can do the same thing for this one too we can say e power negative alpha t square at t is equal to negative 5 and if you do the integration you will get e power negative alpha 25 or you can say 25 alpha negative 25 alpha and that's going to be the simplification of this one now let's look at this one right here here the impulse location we have signal multiplied by impulse so impulse location is t is equal to negative 5 but if you look at the limits of integration 0 to infinity we don't have the negative 5 right so it's like the range of integration is not the impulse is not in the range of integration so this is equal to 0 whenever that happens that's 0 now let's look at this one here we don't have the integration so we have to keep this del of t so del of, from this one t is equal to 0 we can find the t is equal to 0 so we can replace all the t with 0 so 0 cube plus 4 times 0 square plus 3 times 0 minus 6 del of t right and this is going to be 0 0 0 and this is going to be negative 6 times del of t and this is going to be our final answer right so this is our final answer and that's it that's how we do this kind of things and also this del of t remains because we don't have the integration and that's how it is i hope this helps thanks for watching